So if I had to pick one cube right now, it would be the YJ Yulong V2M. $11 for a magnetic cube is insane value, but more than that, this cube feels really good and definitely will be the one that I recommend if anyone asks me today, what cube should I get? And that's that. See ya! I first decided to get this sort of out of curiosity because it is the cheapest magnetic cube on the market. And I was like, well, how good you know, can a cube be for $11? Um, and it is amazing. Like I can pretty much get my normal times um, on this cube uh, as I would with like cubes that cost way, way more. I do prefer the ones that are more expensive uh, because there's other things that I can customize. But otherwise, if you're starting out or if you've never had a magnetic cube before, this is so, so good. There are quite a few magnetic cubes that go between the like uh, 10 and $30 range, Australian. Um, this is, like I said, the cheapest one. And to me, it blows all of the others out, out of the water. But finally, our worth it winner, no copyright infringement intended, uh, would hands down have to be the YJ Yulong version two magnetic. This thing is $11 Australian. I mean, yeah, maybe it has a bit of a cheaper feel to it. Um, that's what some people have said. I personally don't feel that. My only complaint maybe is that, um, it's a little bit noisy. But otherwise, at $11, I mean like this is a third or like an eighth of the cost of those other cubes. It is crazy, crazy good value for money. It's got really nice colors, fairly decent internals. Um, and yeah, it just doesn't feel like it would be an $11 cube. All right, stepping down to the second tier. This cube has now been out for a few years and because um, so many cubes are like entering the market like on a monthly basis, this one's sort of considered old now, but it's really still amazing. And it is the Moyu GTS 2M. The 3M is currently out. Um, it is a stickless cube with like ridges, but it costs a little bit more. Uh, and the Moyu GTS 2M is just incredible value for money. You can get it at the moment for about 33 Australian dollars. And as I said, despite the fact that it's been out for a few years, it is still such a nice cube. It's really reliable. A lot of people, a lot of pro cubers actually still use this cube. So that's the Moyu GTS 2M. Uh, would probably be my second rec recommendation if you want to spend around 30 bucks. So let's start with the expensive and then work our way down. For those of you um, who like money is not an issue at all, which is probably like no one, um, like if you've got money to burn and you're having to just like spend, um, I would recommend, I guess, like premium um, puzzles, premium cubes, uh, and you probably can look no further than like uh, Garn cubes. I have to say that this is a like objectively, everyone finds these cubes most amazing. It's literally like if you ask me what cubes I think you should get. This is my main, this is the one that I use. This one I think is like 79 Australian dollars. And you can get cheaper ones, it's the Garn Air SM uh, and the Garn uh, 354M, which is a smaller cube. Uh, all magnetic cubes that will go for maybe like, you know, 60 or $50. But you get what you pay for. I mean, it's a pleasure to turn. Every time I get to do a solve on this cube, it's just like pure joy. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. I would say these are the ones to get if you've got money to spend. Ah! What is wrong with this? So a question I get asked really often is, hey, you know Rubik's Cubes. What cube do you think I should buy? And despite the fact that I get asked this a lot, I actually don't mind answering that question because it's a fun question to ask. So I've decided to make a video about it, uh, predominantly aimed at people who are getting into cubing or maybe thinking about upgrading. So I have chosen three cubes, which I will reveal to you very shortly at three different price points uh, based on what you're looking for. And these are just ones that I really recommend. I'm also gonna be eating an ice cream as I do this video because I can do whatever I want. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful.